got to check yourself. That's where confidence starts. Knowing your strength, knowing your weaknesses, knowing your insecurities, just knowing damn near everything about you, knowing what ticks you off, knowing what, what triggers you, knowing what makes you happy, knowing what makes you horny. Whatever it is, you got to know yourself very well. All right, gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and talk about confidence and a lot of guys lack confidence. And I can tell when I look at a guy and the way he communicates, I can tell he lacks confidence or there's a particular insecurity that he has, right? Can't really figure it out, but I can tell. Because confidence starts from within. And then for those who are struggling with your confidence, it all starts with their inner work. And that's something that a lot of guys avoid, working on that, the, the inner work. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, am I truly happy with what I'm doing, where I'm at in life, the direction I'm heading? You gotta think about those things. And that's something that I did. You know, I'm so confident and I still have ways to go as far as confidence, but I'm in a very good place from a confident perspective. Um, but I'm always self-evaluating myself and that's something that you all need to do. You gotta check yourself. That's where confidence starts. Knowing your strength, knowing your weaknesses, knowing your insecurities, just knowing damn near everything about you, knowing what ticks you off, knowing what, what triggers you, knowing what makes you happy, knowing what makes you horny. Whatever it is, you gotta know yourself very well. And once you understand who you are from within, then everything else from the outside will be nothing. Right. As far as approaching women, as far as um, going into a job interview, going into any particular situation, because you got to have confidence from within. That's why it's very important, gentlemen, that you work on yourself, work on yourself. That's why I'm able to walk around with this presence, this aura that I give when I walk into a room. People can feel it. People can smell it. You know what I'm saying? I don't need cologne to attract people. Like I, I carry confidence. You can smell confidence when I'm walking around. And that's something I want to teach you all. You all need to work on yourself. That's where confidence starts. Number two, how you present yourself is a part of confidence. A lot of times people, I don't, and people are like, man, looks don't man. Looks is deceiving. No, how you present yourself is important. You gotta look clean. You gotta brush your teeth. You gotta, you know, dress nice, right? Look good, feel good, play good. They pay good, right? Just like Deion Sanders, the great Deion Sanders, one of my favorite. I hate to call him a celebrity because I hate using that word, but he's one of the dudes that I look up to because everything that he embodies is what I embody when it comes to confidence and how you feel, understanding who you are. Gentlemen, I know what makes me happy. I know what makes me sad. I know what makes me angry. I know what triggers me. I know um, what kind of woman I want. I know who I am from within. I know some of the things that I lack. I know some of the strengths that I have. I know it all. And that's where it starts. You know, that inner work, you know what I'm saying? So many dudes in society today try to hide from the work. They try to avoid working on themselves. And that's all part of the self-improvement journey, working on yourself. To this day, gentlemen, I'm still working on myself. There's still flaws that I would love to fix and get better at. To this day, still working on it. But I understand the journey. I understand what I need to work on. And I'm actively working towards fixing that particular flaw about myself. And that's something that you need to do, gentlemen. You got to figure out, okay, what am I good at? What are my weaknesses? What is my trigger? What makes me sad? What makes me angry? What, what, with all those five things I just named, what gets me? That's what you got to figure out. You got to know that. You got to embody that. You got to know it. You got to like feel it. Just like some of y'all be listening to music and you all know the lyrics to the song. That's how you got to know yourself. That's how you got to know yourself. How the hell could you be confident if you don't know who you are? How the hell are you gonna be confident if you don't know some of your weaknesses, some of your triggers? Some of you guys will blow up and get angry and not realize why you blew up and got angry. Some of y'all would 
smile and be happy, but not know why you were, you were even happy. So that's what I'm talking about. You gotta know yourself. You gotta know why, right? When you make certain decisions. Did you know why you made that decision? What triggered you to make that decision? So those are things you gotta think about. So a lot of y'all are getting into relationships not knowing who you are. And that's where it comes with confidence. Because let me tell you something, gentlemen, women can smell fake confidence and women can smell real confident. Because let me tell you, when they know you're confident, they're gonna reciprocate the energy. They're gonna start to show you love. They're gonna respect you more. But when you're like, uh, uh, I, yeah, and, and, and when you walk, and also confidence is how you walk to your posture. When you're walking like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, it's all good, life is good, I'm just gonna hunch over. No, you gotta walk with some confidence. Posture up, neck up. How you pronounce it, your words. How you talk roots from confidence. So a lot of times people think, okay, I'm gonna talk real, real fast to get to my point. But people who talk real fast, you gotta work on that. You gotta work on your tonality. You gotta work on your speech. Take a deep breath, relax, and think. That's where confidence roots from. And I look at my old videos and I'm just like, man, I've come a long way, right? And I'm gonna look back on this particular video and be thankful of my growth. That's the beauty about growth. You look back and realize, wow, I come such a long way. I come a long way. So that's the beauty about the self-improvement journey. And confidence is number one. Confidence is the number one masculine trait that women look for, regardless whether you got the bag or not. Because there are guys who have money that aren't confident. And there's guys who don't have money that are confident. Confidence has nothing to do with your, your financial situation. Confidence is from here. When you walk into a room and you see somebody that you like, are you confident enough to approach this particular woman? Are you confident enough to start a conversation? Are you confident enough to go into the world knowing that you're gonna conquer the world? That's where confidence is at. But gentlemen, confidence isn't having the biggest wee-wee in the room. Confidence isn't having the most money in your bank account. It helps though. But that's not where confidence roots from. Confidence roots from that inner work. Going to therapy. Taking yourself back away from dealing with women and really analyze yourself. Work on yourself. Building that spiritual health. Becoming more spiritually in tune with who you are. That's where, that's where confidence roots from. And once you master that, gentlemen, you're going to be the most confident person in the world. But it all starts from here. You got to do the inner work. Without the inner work, eh, you ain't going to have no confidence. So let me tell you something, gentlemen. If you are struggling with confidence, please work on yourself. Work on yourself and get help. Get a mentor. Be a part of a group. Be, be a part of something that's going to help you with your mental health. Gentlemen, when I hear, I don't want y'all to be a lone wolf. No, a wolf in packs. That's what's going to help you with your confidence. Be around people who are confident and ask them what made them confident. How you so confident? That's what I did. I put myself around people who are doing better than me in life. That's what I do. And I learn from them. That's how you learn. And I ask them questions. I'm a sponge. And that's how I gain more confidence, being around more confident people. Now, if you're around insecure people and people who hate on you, you ain't gonna get no confidence. You are, you are who you hang with. I'm just letting you know that right now. You are who you hang with. So gentlemen, if you are struggling with confidence, mark my words, work on yourself, and I promise you, you will be a superior man and you're gonna be the most confident man walking into any room and gain opportunities and get the woman that you love or whatever it is. 
So gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And gentlemen, check out my weekly videos, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Also, gentlemen, if you're going through any particular struggle, book a session with me. Link is in the description box, and I promise you, I'm gonna make sure you become the best version of yourself, and you become the most confident man to ever walk this earth. Peace from Jay, the Professor.